this is Dreamfall chapters, as you can see. It's a uh, well, it's a point-and-click adventure game. It's a, a follow-on to a uh, Funcom game from the well, about just under ten years ago. That was never completed. The series. And uh, there was a Kickstarter to to fund this, you know, the completion of the game. Um, it's now turned out this completion will will last more than one chapter of the game. So let me just uh, you due to corporate shenanigans are trapped in a uh, an intermediate dream world in the real world there's a, a evil corporation who are stealing people's dreams to uh, fight a war in a world Arcadia at least that's the impression I get there are two main characters that you get to play in the story this character which is the only one I've seen so far who's the one trapped in the dream and a soldier from uh, the other world, Arcadia. I've not really seen it yet. So you can walk around, WASD, but outside of that, it's mostly uh, a point and click. Point and click type thing, except without an actual cursor. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. So your role at this point is to um, go around fixing people's dreams. These are, these are people that have used this... Um... Let's look at the dreaming girl. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. So you go around fixing people's dreams. They're using the, uh, the dream catcher device and they're trapped. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. So She's options. scared enough already. Yes, let's reassure her. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or should unlock it and let the monster have me? Great mm. Yes. Don't worry, I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Alright. So, generally, you get several options. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Right, so that's... You can also slow down time, which you use to solve some of the puzzles. Now, it is mostly a very beautiful game. There are some weird glitches. There are some, are some issues on Linux as far as resolution and settings oh, tentacles 
Yeah, no, not touching that. Uh huh. So I'm guessing we have to find the key. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Let's have some light then. Bing, a bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. All right. What can I do with the torch? No, nothing useful. Can I do the torch on the wardrobe? Oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Ah. Got something. The key. The key. There we go. So I've destroyed the monster. Too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. So there you go, that's the game, more or less, so far anyway. I'm assuming there's a, a wider plot that will develop, and there's only the the fourth, the fourth scene, I think. Now there's a man standing by fire over there, who I should obviously go and investigate next. So yes, I quite I quite like the uh, the, the art. The art is quite nice. The story hasn't really got going yet. Puzzles have all been uh, manageable so far. And I'm not really an expert puzzle guy. This is a... Uh, I got this game in the Steam sale. I probably wouldn't pay full price for it. But I think if you like point-to-click adventures, this seems to me to be uh, quite a nice one. Worth checking out.